ICS response has been elevated to its highest level. Look, this flood event's going to be with us for some time. The SES has had a thousand calls across the state in the past 24 hours. The SES has been inundated with calls for help. Two hundred reckless drivers are off the streets and their vehicles are now being used for vital SES training. Victorian SES crews have been deployed to Lismore. Difficult weather up there is a main reason for us to be deployed up there to help out their unit members. These are the women you call in a crisis. SES Victoria has showcased the skills of its female volunteers. The Women in Rescue Day is about teaching women different techniques and trying to encourage more to join the service. I wanted to do something where I could get in there and actually help out when the emergencies happen. We're on the agenda of getting more women in emergency services. Having the skills to actually help someone out on their worst day is one of the most wonderful things that I could possibly do in my life. This inclusive attitude comes with a new uniform. The whole thing is tailored for a female body, so it fits a lot better. The inspiring trailblazer today became the first ever person with Down syndrome to be recruited as an SES volunteer. The State Emergency Services has recruited a special new volunteer. The agency's first volunteer with Down syndrome. So today is a proud day, while Wednesday is where Orange Day. All Aussies are encouraged to wear orange to thank those wonderful workers. I'll change my uniform for one day, I'll, I'll <laughs> have my orange vest on. There are grave fears as we go to air tonight for a man missing in Victoria's high country. In cold temperatures, winds of up to 90 kilometres an hour, makes for an incredibly tough job for rescuers. The SES is urging us to stay indoors. Do not drive in floodwaters. Sometimes just the smallest amount of wind can make trees fall. Four students seriously injured in a school bus crash. SES members didn't leave the scene. Making their way down the embankment to treat a number of those injured. Thank you for joining us here at the State Control Centre again today. Starting with the catchments in the west and move to the east of the state. Sandbags are made by the minute, preparing for a wave of bad weather. We remind people it only takes 15 centimetres to float. The SES has some valuable advice for us tonight. We're asking people not to travel uh, over the next few days. People driving into floodwaters, people dying, and we don't want to see that here in Victoria. You don't want to be flooded in here and stuck if you can't get out. Just a straight up acknowledgement of those that are working day and night on the ground helping communities manage this disaster. When we issue emergency warnings, we need the community to really look at the action messages that we're providing. The SES State Agency Commander Dave Baker from the State Control Centre. We've got another six to eight weeks that we need to remain on alert. The flood crisis in the country's southeast is worsening. There is no area that will be safe in town. This is a really serious event. We've seen records broken, 1974, 93, or more recently those record floods of 2011. State Agency Commander Wayne Roberts, what's unfolding across the state? Thank you, good morning from Australia. Parts of Victoria were again pummeled by strong winds. The real concern that we've got is for trees coming down. The SES received around 900 phone calls for help. Our busiest month on record. An 11 year old boy is lucky to be alive after he was sucked into a storm water drain where an off duty SES volunteer sprung into action. I was very powerful, it was actually shooting up through the grate. The 11 year old's forever grateful to his heroes. You're the best people I've ever met in my life. A woman rescued during October's flood emergency has been reunited with the two SES officers who saved her life. Thank you for being good looking and being my hero. <laughs> Little Xavier held a fundraiser for the Chelsea SES unit. Xavier sold homemade cookies to make $140 for the SES. Today he was rewarded getting a taste of life as a volunteer. The SES, they continue to do an amazing job. Over the last um, nearly 12 months, they've been well and truly tested. They've done an incredible job supporting our communities. Thank you. Thank you for the amazing work that you are doing. Amazing team of volunteers. Thank you guys. Thank you.